Hey there. Sart here. Um, so I've been playing around with some other teams. Um, I'm still working on like a, a different rank one clear, something that maybe isn't already out there. Um, I don't like to do, you know, clears that are copies of other clears. And, you know, I, I, I rather than just flood the market with uh, a bunch of the same stuff. Um, I, I wanted to try something different. I've been working on a clear that uses Seymour um, as the, the magic tank for a rank one clear. Um, but while I was messing around with that, I was looking at some units. Uh, I was looking at different units that, that deal dark damage, and I remembered that, well, you know, Sephiroth got his silver crowns not that long ago. Um, and, and if you happen to have a, a Sephiroth lying around and you got those silver crowns and you upgraded them, um, he's actually a pretty strong dark unit. And um, he has the potential to actually, you know, make a pretty big comeback when leader skills activate this week, especially if you pick up um, Dio or D uh, Deoxys, as they've been calling him, because um, he does the 500% uh, attack and mag leader skill to dark units and Sephiroth gets that buff and so he, he has the potential to be quite powerful so I figured I would just sort of remind you guys all of that and I wanted to do, to do a clear featuring him this is just a level 99 no mods clear uh, basically featuring featuring Sephiroth um, you know kind of coming in just and just doing what he does best um, I also wanted to highlight um, uh, Warriors Prayer Dark Fina because she will get a leader skill, um, or she should. They, they mentioned it in the news, uh, or sorry, in the live stream. Uh, they mentioned that she will also be getting a leader skill um, uh, along with, with Dio and Ibarra after maintenance this week. However, hers is only, I believe, 100% uh, attack and mag bonus to dark units. But still, um, if, if that's all you've got, then that's all you've got. And so it's definitely worth mentioning that Dark Fina Warrior's Prayer will be getting that leader skill after maintenance this week. So um, I'm, I'm gonna, I just wanna put this one more level 99 clear video out there, um, just sort of uh, mentioning some of these things. And then, you know, after maintenance, you know, you can sort of test that out and, and see how this works. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, even before maintenance, you could still use this team to get this done. If you're just trying to clear the boss, still struggling to clear it um, and, and, and get it done. So I'll really quick go through the gear. Um, Sylvie is again just wearing basically standard budget um, budget provoke gear. You do want to have a provoke unit to make sure that Seymour jumps out and, and, and covers any single target magic attack so that he doesn't die. Um, so yeah, just basic gear here. Also, make sure she's dual. Uh, actually, no, she's not dual wielding. Never mind. That's that's actually not important. Mor morale doesn't matter for just clearing because Sephiroth doesn't doesn't use morale for his damage so that's completely uh inconsequential there so we don't have to worry about that um if you have an ex2 sylvie that's that's awesome that's even even better because then you can use her her lb on turn four for a little extra mod boost to uh to sephiroth but we're not going to worry about it so um he doesn't really need it um and we've got golbez up there to pick up you know any remaining damage that's left uh and that's the same build in both forms by the way so yeah, don't have to really worry about that. Um, you do want her to be at least EX1 um, just for the access to her killers in, in her Brave Shift form. Uh, Seymour is just uh, geared for bulk uh, just to make sure that he survives. So just do whatever you can to bump up his spear and his HP so that he doesn't die. You do want to give him Aranya's Ring because we're going to uh, we're gonna quad cast um, Darkra with Warrior Prayer Fina. Uh, Sephiroth, in his normal form, you don't you don't need to worry about damage in his normal form. Um, what you do need to worry about in his normal form is just making sure that he is at least 100% fire, ice, and dark resistant. Um, because we uh, we don't have Melissa on the team, and so he is going to get targeted for all those single target physicals on turn three, and they're very strong. They definitely hurt. But they are all elemental. So the boss on, on turn three will do uh, a fire elemental AoE, an ice elemental AoE, or sorry, not AoE, single target. They're all single target. A fire element uh, attack, uh, an ice element attack, and a dark element attack. Um, and it does an, an AoE five hit physical before it does those in case you've got Mirage up. So. Um, you want to make sure that, that he is ready to, to handle those. Now, those single target attacks also come with a 100% imperil. So that's why you need him to be 100% um, uh, 
to start with, and then Elena will do a 100% buff to all those elements so that he will be perfectly fine. All right, that's all you need in normal form. And then in Brave Shift form, you notice I didn't go crazy on the gear here. Just one piece of Magister's gear for chain cap boost. And then, yeah, just some like old basic sort of budget gear. Um, he doesn't need to be all out super strong to, uh, to clear this. If you do have really good gear, like obviously if you have the Dark Visions Katana, you're going to want to put that on your Sephiroth instead of the old uh, Massimian. Uh, but just, yeah, whatever you have to, to get him there. Uh, and then just make sure he's capped on killers and LB damage. It's fairly easy to do that with uh, with him because I think he already has 200% demon. He basically caps human uh, pretty pretty easily. And then, yeah, just filling out the LB damage there is all you really need. Uh, and then I just gave him Chizuru's card as sort of a budget option for the card. Obviously, if you have a better vision card, slot that in there. Okay. Um, Golbez. My, my typical budget Golbez build with Jester's Claymore. Make sure you have his curse armor so that you can use that jet black curse ability for the big imperil. Uh, Magister's gear for the chain cap boost. Um, and then just, yeah, making sure you've topped up his MP and his killers. So he's got 300% demon human uh, and he's good to go. Um, and then, yeah, the budget option, Olivera's vision card there for the budget option for, uh, for Golbez. Uh, <clears throat> for, for Fina, she doesn't really need anything. Um, I didn't really even bother to gear her. And she's just here for the Dark Imbue, because in the previous previous budget clears, I've shown, um, I've shown what's his name, Bulwark. And so this is just another option for a Dark Imbue unit. Uh, I gave her, um, Sylvie's card just to generate some morale, but it's, again, it's not really necessary because, um, we don't really need it for Sephiroth. Okay. Um, Elena, you know, she's geared for some damage, I think, but yeah, it, it's not really consequential. She's not going to do any appreciable damage. Um, and then she's just dual wielding with Sylvie's vision card for some extra morale fill. And just make sure she's got LB fill so that her LB is ready to go. Um, actually, nope, never mind. She doesn't even need that. That was from my previous clear. We don't actually need that because she's not going to use her LB on turn four. She's just going to chain bolting strike. So yeah, even better. All right, and that's the team. So let's see how we get this done with Sephiroth. All right, once again, we can we can essentially just ignore the um, that gravity attack. We don't need to bother healing ourselves back up or anything like that. Um, the only pain in the butt about Seymour is that he doesn't have any kind of double cast um, or triple cast in his kit. And so, yeah, you're just stuck like doing one action per turn, which is kind of a bummer. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, so Sylvie is here basically to keep Seymour alive. So she'll do her burgeoning defense, Paladin's Resolve, Elemental Vines for the magic mitigation. Seymour is just going to do his cover. Um, Golbez will go ahead and start with his Jet Black Curse, so that that's ready on turn four. Hit the boss with Dark, and we'll do some breaks with Curse. Okay, Sephiroth will go ahead and uh, do that one stack that he needs to max out his LB. Alright, Fina. Um, on this turn, she can do... Um, I guess she'll go ahead and do it in Dark Gah. Just make sure we're all imbued. Um, we'll do infer wall, and I think how long does this one last? Uh, actually, we don't even really need this, do we? Um, because we're going to use Elena for the better killers. Uh, I mean, we'll go ahead and unlock it, I guess. So we'll just go ahead and unlock. All right, here we go. And um, oh, nope, that's not what we want. What am I doing? I'm gonna unlock our triple cast, beloved heroine. All right, because um, we do need to get our we need to get our um, morale over 100% to unlock Elena's better killers. Um, actually, do we? No, because we can just use her brave shifted LB for the 150% human demon killer, can't we? I mean, her her morale skill is 160, so it's a little bit better. But all right, well we'll we'll play around when we get there. Um, so we'll just have Sephiroth just hit the boss, uh, with some dark there. 
Golbez can just do... Oh, so on this turn, um, something I didn't show you guys on Olivera Clear, which I completely forgot to do and I meant to do, Seymour can put up a 30% um, a dark amp field if you summon Anima. So we're going to fill up the... Um, we're gonna fill up the Esper Gauge with Golbez by triple, co uh, triple casting Come Shadow Dragon while we're waiting for that to go because the animation is like stupidly long. While we're waiting for that, Sylvie can go ahead and do Paladin's Defense for the uh, to mirage all the physicals next turn. Uh, we'll do Clever Paladin for the Sword Imperil for Golbez and uh, Cheerful Paladin Strike for some morale fill. Um. Athena can just do, um, I guess she can do her LB on this turn, because um, it does do some nice attack and mag buffs. Um, you know, since we're not going to have, since we're not going to have um, uh, Sylvie, we're not, we're not planning on having Sylvie's LB up and ready on turn four. This will be, you know, this will be, be good for us. So, and then we'll do, we'll summon Anima for the field. I suppose, um, I suppose Fina could have summoned Azura for the field. I, I think hers is technically better, but, um, you know, I just wanted to show that Seymour has that capability in case you're, you don't have, uh, Warrior of Fina Dark, sorry, Warrior's Prayer Dark Fina. All right, so now we'll do Azure Protection, uh, Legendary Beloved, and hopefully... Yeah, well, our morale is <laughs> our morale is not good on this one without uh, without our good friend Bulwark. That's all right. If we have to, we'll just use her Brave Shifted LB for the killers. That's fine. All right. So on this turn, uh, Sephiroth needs to shift back into normal form. Uh, we're going to do Elemental Burst Dark. Uh, you would only have that if you did those crown battles and you finished the last one to acquire this ability. So hopefully you did that. Uh, but this is his 150% dark amp. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use that. Um, Elena. Yep, so we don't have our 100% morale. That's all right. We're just going to have to do her, um, her brace shifted LB, but that's fine. All right, we'll do Crystal Refrag. That's going to get rid of the Imperils because right now we have um, we have Imperils on us. So you see that um, his all of his uh, resistances have been debuffed. All right, so we're going to get rid of the Imperils and put up the 100% um, across the board Elemental Resist buff. That's for Sephiroth. We're going to get rid of our breaks, and then we'll just do a little bit more morale fill. All right, Seymour on this turn, um, we'll just do another cover because uh, that does good morale fill. Actually, he does have his SLB. I might as well use his SLB because that will give us good morale fill as well. As well. And just to, to show you, he does have 60% human mitigation, both the physical and magic, plus 60% general, 60% uh, magic mitigation on his SLB. So he has the potential if you give him enough support with like Sylvie and Melissa on the team he's he's got enough support that he could probably survive um, through a rank one clear but like I said I'm working on that we'll see if we can get that done all right so I'll just go ahead and do his SLB might as well uh, Fina can just do uh, we'll just do infer wall uh, nine serpent strike thing and uh, we'll do another in dark good just to make sure everybody's imbued um, Golbez, if you had Magic Boost Plus, this would be the turn where you would use it. I don't, so I'm just going to do Give Your Power to Meteor. Um, Sylvie on this turn is going to do I've Got Your Back to Sephiroth. Even though he has his LB filled already, we want the 400% buffs and the 300% uh, LB damage buff for him. Uh, we'll also give him Poached Demon for the better Demon Killer and uh, Cheerful Paladin Strike for some more morale. All right, so we're over, <clears throat> we're over 100 uh, morale. So now Elena can use that uh, that 160% human demon killer, which is great. Yep, yeah, here we go. Azure might. Okay. Great. So now Sephiroth can shift back to brave. 
uh, back to his brave shift. So you see we've got our 88% break, 190% imperil. Um, he's got big demon killer, big human killer. He's ready to rock and roll. Golbez will just drop a meteor nuke as usual. And then Fina. Ba -ba -ba. Um, Fina will quad Darkra with Seymour. Now, if you were using, um, if you were using Bulwark, like you saw in my previous clear with Oliveira as, as a budget option, then you would just, um, triple bolting strike, uh, and, and, um, in that case you would use Pyrefly manipulation, because it's a triple bolting strike frame, uh, that is Dark Elemental, uh, but since we have access to Dark Fina, we can quad, just makes a longer chain, uh, makes it easier to make sure you fit your, uh, your finishers in there. And just to increase your chain count score, we can do um, Triple Paladin Strike with Sylvie. All right, so we'll start Golbez, and then we'll start Sephiroth shortly after that, and then we'll start our chainers. Boom, there's the big hit from Sephiroth, you see. Almost killed him all by himself right there. Um... Yeah, that was pretty nice. There you go. Very nice. So yeah, Golbez really just kind of like, you know, cleans up uh, the mess that's left over from that big hit. But Sephiroth does a pretty considerable amount of damage. Even, even in a non-BIS build, he does a pretty good amount of damage um, all by himself. Yeah, 1.3. The boss has 1.8. So Golbez only needed to clean up like, you know, uh, around 500 million damage right there. You see he did uh, almost 900 million, so even, you know, lots of, plenty of overkill there. All right, so plenty of room if your units aren't quite as strong, but that's just another option that you guys have to clear this one up to level 99 with no mods. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Um, stay tuned, I'm, like I said, I'm working on uh, sort of another uh, potentially unique rank one clear. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, to get it done. Um, and you know, it, if not, I'll, I'll just keep working on it. I, I, I don't have any, uh, I, I don't have a bar. I'm not going to pull for, for Dio. So I'm not going to be able to sort of participate in all of the, the leader skill shenanigans that people are going to be getting into. I know it's going to, it's going to look impressive and it's going to be a lot of fun to watch, uh, to see how leader skills just like totally wreck this boss. Um, but unfortunately I will not be able to participate in all of that really. I mean, I, I I've got dark Fina, so I could potentially just use her as a budget leader skill unit. Uh, and we'll sort of see how that goes. Um, maybe I can work something out with that, but thank you guys so much for following. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the other side.